microscopic Milton is very small indeed. He lives in a clock on the mantelpiece in the parlour of a house that belongs to a lady named Mrs. Witherspoon. No one knows he's there, apart from Milton's friend Douglas, who spends most of his time asleep in front of the fire, and of course, you. Microscopic Milton and Douglas were playing hide-and-seek in the garden. Milton closed his eyes and counted to ten. Come in, ready or not, he shouted, and turned to look for Douglas. There you are! Milton always seemed to win when they played hide-and-seek, but Douglas wasn't discouraged and covered his eyes while Milton looked for a hiding place. Douglas counted. Eight, nine, ten. Just then they heard Mrs. Witherspoon shout from the kitchen. Douglas, lunchtime. Don't you dare come in here with those dirty paws all over my clean kitchen floor. I'll have to give you a bath before you have your lunch. Douglas didn't like bath time, even though Mrs. Witherspoon let him have some of her special bubble bath. Before long, Douglas was as clean as a new pin. Mrs. Witherspoon went to find a fresh towel. Wow, just look at all those bubbles, he said, and jumped up onto a bar of soap to get a better view. Unfortunately, the soap was wet. Milton fell into the bath with a tiny splash. Douglas couldn't find Milton anywhere. I'm up here. Douglas looked up to see Milton floating towards the ceiling inside one of the bubbles. Just then, Mrs. Witherspoon came back and began to dry Douglas. Woof, he said. What on earth are you barking at a bubble for, you silly dog? Mrs. Witherspoon opened the window to let the steam out and then went downstairs. Before Douglas could reach him, Milton had floated out of the open window. This is great fun, thought Milton. Oh, dear, thought Douglas, and he ran downstairs, past Mrs. Witherspoon. Now, don't you get yourself dirty again, she shouted. Douglas raced across the garden and with a mighty bound jumped over the fence and straight into a muddy puddle. Milton saw some workmen pouring wet cement onto the road from a big cement mixer. Unfortunately, Douglas was looking up at the bubble and didn't see the workman. I can see everything from this bubble, thought Milton. <laughs> Even Douglas looks tiny from up here. <laughs> Douglas ran on and on. He was so busy watching the bubble that he forgot to look where he was going. The bubble drifted over the town, across the local refuse dump, over a newly ploughed field and into the countryside. Just then, the bubble began to lose height and it floated slowly down towards some tall trees. Down fell Milton towards a large patch of stinging nettles. Luckily, Douglas arrived in the nick of time. That was fun, said Milton. Can we do it again? Douglas didn't reply, and they set off towards home. Mrs. Witherspoon hardly recognized Douglas when she saw him. I don't know how you do it, she said. I'm going to need my biggest scrubbing brush and an extra ration of bubble bath to get you clean this time. Douglas wasn't taking any chances. He popped Milton into a jar of bath salts where he couldn't cause any more trouble. I've had more than enough baths for one day. Oh, my God.